Hello, Instagram. Hello, hello. Ooh, I just got a shady, dirty look from that one. You know what he said? He said, hey, Ma, every time you go live, can I have nothing to do with it, just like Kanye? I went, like, nothing to do with it. He's mad at me. So anyway, we're having apres ski drinks here um, at the Four Seasons. Now, he's gonna hide. You can go to the other side. He's gonna like really run away because he wants nothing to do with it. Some people are really lucky and they have like their kid and their family like really on top of it. Oh good, if you go away, they get the better view behind you. You can go sit over there. <laughs> That's him running to another table. <laughs> anyway, some people are lucky to have their family participate. I am not that lucky. So it's sort of halfway apres ski for me because what happens is I cross country and then I come and I meet my family here. Hubs is there and I'm here and we are um, having a drink and some sushi. I'm trying to stay on this no carb diet. But anyway, I've actually been pretty good. I shouldn't even say trying because I've actually been very good for a week on it. But what I wanted to come in is I just did um, two really awesome Facebook Lives, which I encourage you to go over to my Facebook page and look at. I did one on my way up here, and I did another one in my house earlier out in Wyoming. And the, the thing is, what I'm talking a lot about today is it was a day of small beginnings and a day of setting yourself up right. One of the things in small beginnings is this was the first day of, oh, thank you, this was the first day that I was able to cross country. We've been here a few days, thank you. And it's the weather was like, it was gorgeous, but there also were these 40 mile an hour winds. So rather than, um, thank you, and we'll move those. Oh, that's the silverware, I thought it was the gloves. So, um, chin chin. So what happened was rather than like freak out that I couldn't have a really long session because of the wind, I decided to just, you know, didn't make the best of it. It's my first day out, take a baby step, not do a lot. I only stayed out for 20 minutes. That was probably in the wind, a pretty good workout because you're literally like pushing ahead. And it's the same thing with business. It's like whenever you're doing something, <coughs> excuse me, just take baby steps in what you're doing. Don't kill yourself. Learn what you need to learn to go do it, but take small steps in learning how to get to the next part. So if you're wanting to learn how to feel confident on camera, instead of freaking out, take baby steps of learning what to do, what to say, how to really get confident on camera so that you can go and do these whenever you want. If you're learning how to take your own photos, your own headshots, so you can use them on social media, that you can use them on your website you can use them for blog posts you can use them as covers for for videos like this because you know they always get that weird cover and you want to make sure that you get the good ones whatever it is you know you need to in this world in this day and age as much as my son says he doesn't want to be like he wants to be like Kanye and have nothing to do with my being live all the time it's the Kardashian ability to be live all the time whether or not you like them or not it's the fact that they were so real in your face that you can't ignore them and if you want to relate to your audience, if you want to scale your audience, if you want to really create an audience that loves you and wants to come with you and part of the journey, you need to really be in their face so much as being real that you become perceived as a friend of theirs. And it's not weird or creepy. I mean, it's the same thing with people on reality shows. Like I know that I have friends who are on reality shows and you can't walk down the street with them because people like stop them and grab them because they see them in their living room every week in this very real, authentic, or even stage authentic situation. And they believe that they are their friends and they just feel the bond so much much closer. So as a business owner or an entrepreneur or someone who is out there as a face of your brand, if you just take a few minutes of your day to connect with your audience and if rather than doing fake stage photos where everything is perfect on social media, you really show yourself in a way that's real and authentic, sure you can retouch it a little bit, sure you can make yourself look better and sure in those days when you know you're doing it you should put on a little bit more makeup than others, you know, but then maybe be real the other part of the time if that's your 
thing of being like no makeup or whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. But just be out there consistently, authentically, so that you can become your own authentic superstar, that you can show up in a way that you have an audience that knows you, that likes you and trusts you in a very real way of what you're doing and where you're at. So if you want to learn more on how to become an authentic superstar, I invite you to go to AuthenticSuperstar.com. It's a challenge that I'll be starting just as soon as I get back from my traveling because I want to make sure I'm kind of in one place. If you're following me now all around, that's great. You'll be seeing me through New York and California and Wyoming. But anyway, so go to AuthenticSuperstar.com and sign up now because it's free now. It's going to cost money later. But right now for the early birds, it's totally free. So you with me, give me a thumbs up and let me know that um, you're going to join Authentic Superstar. And I'm going to put my eyeglasses on because I can't see who's there. But also tell me where you're from. I'm right now, I'm in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And where are you guys from? Hey, that's doing something weird with that. Where are you guys from? Hello, Susie Dutz. How are you? Hello, Barn James. How are you? Unf unfo ghetto bull interiors unfo you know what's really funny so i was wearing my um faux fur coat, coat before and we went over to the pet stop shop and they were like can we touch your coat is it sheep is it llama i'm like no it's like polyester i believe in my animals being alive they're like really we never would know it's fake so that was kind of funny so where are you guys all from <laughs> Oh, we got some screaming kids. We have Susie Dutz is from New York. I hope you don't mind if I join you. Barn James. No, I don't mind if you join me at all. So anyway, um, you guys have any questions while I'm here? You can pop them in. Otherwise, my food's going to be here soon. I'll show you a little bit of this room around me. And a little bit. Can you see the... You can see the mat. Let me see if I can ski resorts out there so that's it you know it's really all I wanted to come in with right now and really hoping and I know that you know the more authentic I can be so it, it's kind of a weird thing for me because I spent 15 years as a stylist on photo shoots and my whole business was about making everything look so believable that you'd want to buy into it and I was on the other side of the camera but when I had to turn around to the side of the camera it really scared the bejesus out of me and it took me a long time to realize that everything I knew in creating a brand, creating an image is totally relevant. But the thing that was missing, the missing link from my being a pro on photo shoots to my being known as an expert in my field was the fact that I wasn't being authentic because I would never think of coming on like this. Can I get to be friends with you? Well, I don't know what that means, Barn James 5555. If you're creepy, no. Um, if you want to friend us, you can go friend me on my Facebook page or you can go friend my Instagram. But if you're like a troll or a creep, don't bother. I'll block you when I find out. Anyone else? That's Coolio. You can friend me. So anyway, so the point is, is that going on right now and talking to people and connecting with people and sharing your experience with people will help build your brand and knowing how to do it in a way where you set yourself up and you position yourself to be aspirational will really, really help cement your position that you are seen as an expert and not just some schlump and dump coming in and chatting about nothing. So right now, having the ability to be seen as an authentic superstar is really something that you need to put in your toolkit and not ignore because if you ignore it, you'll just be like everyone else. And if you're you, you have a business and a brand that no one can steal, right? It's you. No one can take away who you really are. So I invite you to go over to AuthenticSuperstar.com. Sign up on the early bird list. I am going to, I see my food coming out of the corner. I'm going to go there right now and say goodbye because I don't want to talk to you with food in my mouth. That would be so not cool. And my son, you want to see where he's, hold on. Let me, let me see something. Hold on. You see over there? You see that person over there with his head down? That's my kid ignoring me. There he is. Here he comes. He's checking in. He's checking in to make sure. So anyway, I want to spend time with him. This is our family vacation. So I will see you guys soon. And uh, don't forget to go over to AuthenticSuperstore.com and sign up. Bye-bye.